So I am really, really annoyed. I just can't, I can't believe it. I, I just, oh, pissed off is not the word. Right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Jay, and welcome to the channel. Hope you're well. But as I was saying earlier, I'm absolutely pissed off, annoyed. And it's, it's probably not a big thing to you guys, but it's a massive thing to me. So I don't know if you watched my, I don't know, one of my previous videos where I've, I've talked about um, the sensors and that that come on and off on the KTM. And I'm beginning to think now that the KTM is an angry kid that's got issues. I really do. An angry kid with issues. Yeah, he's all good when he's uh, got the bravado and given the speed and, you know, performing as it should. When he don't like something, he's just not having any of it. So the sensors and stuff I've mentioned before, on and off, on and off. And bearing in mind for any new subscribers or new people to the channel, this is a fairly new bike from September last year. And the sensors keep coming on. Uh, preload sensor, traction control sensor. They keep coming on and they go off, they clear themselves, which is not really an issue uh, when it does that, but there's a reason in there why it's doing that. And I just don't know why it's doing that. Now the, the thing that's annoying me is the fact that it is doing that and the fact that when the traction control won't come on, this is the second time now the traction control's come on, I've actually had to take it to KTM to get it cleared, they couldn't find anything, um, but it, bring, it's, it brings on that there look, the engine management light and it is proper annoying me, it really is, to the, to the point where I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm falling out of love with it. If, if I'm going to start having issues like this on a new bike when I've just got it, then what sort of issues am I going to get? So, KTM, you are living up to your name at the minute. Unless anybody can help me out there, have they had the same issues? I know a couple of people have and they said that they'll clear, but I think that's just like the sensors. I'm not actually sure with the uh, engine management light whether that has got to be reset every time because if it does and it's doing it quite a lot that is bloody annoying I could have gone then what's making it super annoying for me is the fact that I am going to Spain as well in uh, just over two weeks and I don't want any issues with the bike I've got breakdown cover and all that, and I suppose it is what it is at the end of the day, and I can't really do anything about it, and you know, things can go wrong with any bike, can't they? This is the reason I got a new bike, because I was sick of issues, and the worst issues that you can get as well are gremlins, aren't they? Or electrical gremlins, worst things you can get. So yeah annoyed at the minute so we're just out on this beautiful day there's not a cloud in the sky well there's the odd little sort of misty cloud but that's about it there's uh, no rain scheduled to, for today at all uh, just on my own today it is nice to get on the bike on your own sometimes wasn't planned it was just a uh, I thought you know what I'm just gonna go up and get some breakfast and just everything were fine and on the way to getting breakfast the Traction control came on, cruise control, oh that was another one, came on. And then it just triggered the engine management light. Traction control and cruise controls, they've all cleared themselves. There's no, no warnings. When you go into the warnings, it's saying all clear, big tick. But obviously it's, uh, it's triggered the engine management light. Yes, I keep saying it, but it's really pissing me off. because these things can turn into more sinister things. Um, but yeah, if you've got a KTM 1290 and you've had the same issue, and I'm not talking just the sensors because I know that when you start the bike up, make sure it's in neutral and all that because it pulls a lot of power through and it, that can cause it to error. I get all that. Um, I'm not talking about 
it turning it's you know it's sort of like they're just coming on when i'm riding and then when i turn the bike off then turn it on again they clear themselves that is not the problem although the, the reason it's doing it is a problem because it just keeps doing it it's bloody annoying and it shouldn't do it i'm talking about the engine light i, I think someone's told me that after about three or four attempts you know starting the bike up on and off on and off um, obviously you ride it for a bit turn it off come back onto it not not just straight on on and off on and on and off on and on off on 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 off <laughs> um, but yeah they said that that clears also the engine light as well so I'm not sure I'm not convinced I'm not 100% sure it's, it's gonna do it because I, I, I had this problem last time and I ended up taking it to KTM and if I have to go running to KTM every single time it's like taking the naughty kid back to his parents to give him a clip round the ear and then he don't do it for a bit and then all of a sudden he gets a bit leery and stops behaving and then it starts getting these issues again <laughs> but it's, it's just disheartening it's it's disheartening it's disheartening because it's a new bike it's disheartening because it's you know it's it's causing it is it's, it's just causing inconvenience all the time and i shouldn't have to put up with it it's not a 10 year old bike it's a six month old bike or whatever it is from september i just yeah and there'll be a lot of people out there a lot of ktm haters just saying oh yeah well we told you ktm they've got a reputation yeah they have so have all bikes all bikes have got a bit of a reputation somewhere along the line um don't matter what bike you get yeah you're gonna have issues and people might have these and have no issues whatsoever at all and the horrible thing is it's not it's not causing any issues to the riding of it it's not preventing anything at the minute but when your traction control comes on saying there's a fault with your traction control i'm sorry but it gets inside your head and you're thinking you know what i need that traction control so yeah that's the problem i like bike to add like the way you add like the way i Look at these things. Brilliant. Yeah. It's like a line of GSs, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, oh. What's going on for you? Had a bit of a jiggle on him, didn't he? <laughs> There's the big boys now, look. Wow. They look awesome, don't they? There we go. MTC traction control on again. <laughs> my top box off as well because it'd have been nice to bring a flask up find some benches yeah so i put some spotlights on here i think i'd mentioned that before but i've got the proper brackets on the front now um so they look really good and i have got the radiator covers the plastic radiator covers which look really good as well they were sort of relatively cheap then about 30 quid and then i've got the one in the middle it's just like a plate just to cover the manifold oh my word what is going off here so i've caught up with all these tractors <laughs> can i get round <clears throat> can't be blocking the road should be able to get through here Can they actually get it through here? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Are you just stopping for a break or something? Oh. <laughs> I've, just, I've just passed you a little bit and I was, I was praying I wasn't going to meet you again up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. I 
with all this lot here. <laughs> Good there. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at this fella. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wicked. I want too much old chip get through there, was it? The thing is, when you get started getting narrow down here, if they start coming up against cars, they've, they've shot it, haven't they? <laughs> well, that's made my day, that gorilla on the front there. I love gorillas. Right, what's he doing? Is he going to get to the left then? I can get past. Thank you. So yeah, don't ever come to Castleton in a car when the weather's like this, because this is what you get all the time. It's bad enough for bikes, but at least we can negotiate around the traffic. But uh, but yeah, you've seen what it was like there, because it's such a small place, but it's very popular. Right, so I'm gonna leave it there, guys. A uh, bit of a sort of negative one, this one, because of the issue with the bike. But we had that beautiful scenery, so that sort of negates the negative and puts a positive slant on it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, share if you if you want to on all the social media platforms. And I shall see you on the next one. But remember guys, it doesn't matter who you are, what you ride, or where you're from. Because every day is an adventure. Crazy out.